Officials roll out the welcome mat. Tonight, commissioners approved a plan to make the city more appealing to those from other countries. Alexa Ashwell has been researching the welcome date and plan. It's live tonight with how it might affect you. Alexa? Park City Commissioners passed this resolution without opposition today. Now the next step is creating a committee that will go over the more than 100 recommendations on how to make the city of Dayton more immigrant friendly. Commission's recommendations all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? City officials accept an initiative designed to revitalize Dayton's economy and combat its declining population by welcoming immigrants with open arms. This great and innovative city of Dayton is called upon at this moment to act accordingly for the sake of diversity, prosperity, and posterity. A handful of supporters, some immigrants themselves, expressed their support and the importance of Welcome Dayton. The city's Human Relations Council compiled a report outlining more than 100 recommendations on how the city can become more immigrant friendly. One recommendation is to designate a stretch of Third Street as an international marketplace for immigrant entrepreneurship. Another to break the language barrier by providing interpreters and other resources that will help make government, health, and social services more accessible. I think uh, more people working, more people spending money, more people consuming, more people having their kids play in the parks, more people paying taxes to the city, I, I think it's a positive benefit all around. The recommendations that raised concern had to do with law enforcement policies and the identification of immigrants. You really don't know who you're dealing with. And if you want to open up financial services and, and other services to them, you need to know exactly who they are for future references, for liability purposes. I think you should take their fingerprints. But as Mayor Gary Leitzel later makes it clear, Welcome Dayton is not about harboring illegal immigrants. We understand there are problems with people entering the U.S. illegally. The Welcome Dayton plan leaves federal immigration law enforcement to the feds and instead focuses on making our community one that treats all people kindly, fairly, and humanely. Now this initiative is projected to create a substantial return on investment. For more information or a copy of this report, you can do so through the Dayton City's website. That's DaytonOhio.gov. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News on your side.